Welcome to this video. So far, we have studied the criteria of similar triangles. Today, we will learn about areas of similar triangles. What do you understand by observing the given triangles? These are similar triangles because the ratios of their corresponding sides are the same. But can you tell the relation between the ratio of the corresponding sides and the area of the triangle? Let's discuss this. Triangle ABC and triangle XYZ are two similar triangles. We have to find the relation between the ratio of the sides and the area. Hence, first of all, we will find the area of the triangles. Let us draw the altitude of both the triangles, that is, the altitude AM on the side BC and the altitude XO on the side YZ. Can you tell the measure of angles AMC and XOZ? Correct. Since AM and XO are the altitudes of the triangle, the angles AMC and XOZ will be 90 degrees. Now, can you find the area of these two triangles? Correct. The area of triangle ABC is half multiplied by BC multiplied by AM. And the area of triangle XYZ is obtained by half multiplied by YZ multiplied by XO. Since we have to find the relation between the ratio of the corresponding sides and the area of the triangles, we find the ratio between the areas of triangle ABC and triangle XYZ which is represented by equation 3. Now, let us discuss triangle ABM and triangle XYO. Here, we see that angle B is equal to angle Y because these are corresponding angles of similar triangles ABC and XYZ. And angle M is equal to angle O because angle M and angle O are right angles. Can you find if triangles ABM and XYO are similar? Good! These are similar according to the AA criteria of triangles. Hence, the ratio of corresponding sides AM and XO and sides AB and XY will be equal. We are given that triangle ABC and triangle XYZ are similar triangles. Therefore, the ratio of the corresponding sides will be the same. In equation 3, in place of BC by YZ, from equation 5, AB by XY, and in equation 4, in place of AM by XO. Putting AB by XY, we get the ratio between the areas of triangle ABC and triangle XYZ as the squares of the sides AB by XY. So, using equation 5, we get this solution. That is, from the above solution, we can say that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Today in this video, we learned about the area of similar triangles. In the next video, we will see interesting examples based on this.